So I obviously got into Bitcoin with the help of CPM. I yeah. didn't understand it at all. And instead of telling me anything about it, he said, well, go and learn about it, which I really appreciate now because it made me understand Bitcoin, how yeah. it's formed, what it is. Because before I was just turning around like a lot of people out there. Hello, fellow stackers. 365 here. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm an hour into the three hour long whiskey and rum episode that CPM put together. Now, I have to say, it's probably one of my favourite videos that I've watched on Creative Precious Metals channels of all time. And that is because it literally covers every single topic that I'm interested in. Now, I've only watched an hour of it and it goes on for three hours long and already I'm so hooked on it. I've been watching it on my lunch break today at work. I listened to it on the way to driving to work. I've listened to it on the way home from work. And after I finish filming this video, I'm going to finish watching it. Now, on the video, he has Cobra Stacker and he has Camel Finance. And they're basically discussing gold, silver and Bitcoin. Now, they touch on other different types of investments also. And I haven't watched the whole thing yet. Like I said, it's three hours long. I've watched an hour so far, so I've got two hours to go. So there's so much more to be covered off on that video and like I said it's already my favourite video I think out of all the videos I've seen on CPM's channel and it's really inspired me to film my video today. Now I haven't filmed a video in the last couple of days because I've been very very busy with work. I've also got my buy to let properties that are due for uh, renewal. They're both due for uh, mortgage renewals in the next couple of months so I've got lots of paperwork that goes with that. This is the first time I've actually renewed them since having them. I believe I got them on a three year fix when I first got them, it might have been a four-year fix. It was either a three or four-year fix. And that has now come to an end. So it's the first time I've remortgaged the buy-to-let. So I will share how that goes once it's all gone through on the channel for those of you that are interested in property investing. But yeah, I've got a lot going on basically. So I haven't really had time to film any videos or get anything out of storage to put a nice display together. But after watching this video today, it's really inspired me to film again. So thank you very much to all three of you for inspiring me to film today's video. And as you can see, today's video is based around gold. And that is because I do think gold is a, a very, very important part of your portfolio. Now, just because my channel is called 365 Days of Silver, and I've mentioned it many times in the past, that I am more bullish on silver, just because I think the upside has a lot more room to run than gold. So that is why I'm so heavily focused on silver, and that is why silver takes up the largest percent overall in my precious metals portfolio. But I do still think it's very important to cover off gold on this channel, because I do think gold is extremely important. And the reason I wanted to film today's video is because there's been a lot of talks of gold in the CPM's video. Camel Finance, Cobra Stacker and CPM are huge fans of investing in physical gold. They all continue to add it to their stacks and they're all very bullish on gold long term. So I thought, you know what, it's time that I did a video on gold. I haven't done a video on gold for a while. I've said before in the past, I'll never do a full stack video on this channel, whether it's gold or silver, because I don't really want my full allocation to precious metals out there on the internet. I like to keep some of my base stack, if you like, private. But I do think, like I said, it's very important to showcase some of my allocation to gold. And again, tell you how important, in my opinion, and again, nothing in this video is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. As you've seen from my last few videos, I'm still very, very new to investing in general, and I've made quite a lot of mistakes along the way, but it's all about learning from your mistakes and growing in your investment journey. So today we're going to be showcasing some of my gold. And like I said, the reason I'm doing that is to remind you that just because my channel is called 365 Days of Silver doesn't mean that I don't believe in gold and doesn't mean that I don't have any gold in my stack. Now you can see I've got a nice selection of gold to show you today from graded to bullion to fractional. You can see we've got a Queen's Beast here. This is a completer, absolutely stunning piece of gold. Probably one of my favourite pieces of gold out of my whole gold stack. And that is because I think it's going to perform very, very well over time. I think it's going to contain a nice premium over the spot price of gold. Also got a Britannia. Got a couple of Krugerrands. I've shown these quite a lot on the channel. 
These are actually handed to me from my granddad when he passed away. And I think he paid round about, someone correct me if I'm wrong, because I can't remember exactly now, but I have done a video on it. I think, I think he paid around £220 for these. So at the time when he brought them in 1981, I think it was around about £220 an ounce. So you can see how well gold has performed as a hedge against inflation. And again, it just shows you how good, in my opinion, it is to have quite a nice allocation towards gold because it does seem to perform very well over time. And although, like I said, silver, in my opinion, is going to have a higher upside potential, it's a lot more erratic. It's a lot more volatile than gold is. Gold is a kind of steady, consistent growth, whereas silver has some huge spikes up and, and some huge spikes down. So it's a really, really steady way of growing your wealth, in my opinion, when you put your fiat into gold. Also got some fractional pieces. I'm a massive fan of having fractional gold, especially with how quick the gold prices have risen recently. They're a lot more liquid. They're a lot more easier to sell they're also a lot more easier to buy and i do think that long term fractional is definitely the way forward although you do pay a premium when you're buying fractional if you was to buy a one ounce gold coin for example you could pretty much buy this for spot price maybe a couple of percent over whereas when you're buying fractional you are going to expect to pay a lot higher premium on the gold that you're buying but like i said it, you pay for the luxury of it being more liquid and if gold continues to rise the rate that it's risen over the last few months it's going to be even harder to liquidate this stuff in the future so that is definitely something to bear in mind as well although the, at the moment a one ounce gold coin is still very liquid fast forward say 10 years time how liquid is that one ounce gold coin going to be? And how easy is it going to be to convert back into fiat currency when you need it for that large purchase? And that is definitely something to remember. There's already some parts of the country where you cannot buy a whole ounce of gold in cash. So if you ever wanted to convert your gold into cash, there's already some parts of the world where you couldn't do that without reporting it so some really nice pieces here i've got to show you today a nice little selection and again this video is just to kind of remind you that although i mainly talk about silver i do think it's very very important to have gold in your stack in my opinion it's one of the safest investments. It's a slow, consistent growth. And it's a great place to park your money, especially if you're looking to invest for a long period of time. Let's say you're looking to invest for maybe 10 years minimum. It's a really, really safe. Again, this is all my opinion. But it's a really, really safe place to park your fiat currency and outperform inflation beat inflation and grow your wealth steady and consistently i'm not going to go through every single piece because it's gonna be quite a long video but you can see i've got lots of different pieces in here from sovereigns right the way down to one gram pieces of gold and again if you're just starting out to invest in and i think the lads over on cpm's channel said it very very well just start buying something don't think i can't afford a whole ounce of gold don't hesitate don't be put off by the high prices of gold don't be put off by the all-time high prices of gold even just buy what you can afford to buy if you can only afford to buy a one gram piece of gold just buy that one gram piece of gold yes you're going to pay the premium but like I said, it's going to be a lot more liquid in the future. And also, just by making that first purchase, it really changes your whole outlook on spending. 
It makes you not want to spend money on pointless things. It makes you want to save up and put your money into to long term wealth building assets. Before I started investing, I could not save a penny at all. I found it very, very hard. This is actually a platinum piece, I think. I found it very, very hard to. Is it going to focus? I found it very, very hard to put money aside. But as soon as I discovered investing, I found it very, very easy to put money aside because I was excited to buy that next investment. I was excited to put money into the, the asset that I'd researched. So like I said, I think it's very important just to get started. Just start buying a one gram piece of gold and it'll be amazing how quickly your whole mindset changes and how quickly you can grow your stack. So we're going to stop there because I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to do a quick video to remind everyone the importance of having gold in your portfolio. Just because, like I said, this channel is predominantly silver investing. I still think it is so, so important to have some gold in your stack. And like I said, I don't often show it on the channel. And that's for a number of reasons. One, the channel is 365 Days of Silver. And that is where my the bulk of my portfolio is invested. Two, I don't like the idea of having too much stuff from my stack out there on the internet. And the third one is it's quite hard to get hold of, especially my gold. My gold is all stored off site. Occasionally I keep a couple of ounces on site, like the Krugerrands I've kept on site for a while because I like to have them in videos every now and then when I'm talking about gold. I might keep a one gram gold bar handy on site. But the majority of my gold is stored off site. I think it's very, very important to split up your stack not necessarily split it down the middle with gold and silver stored separately. Maybe have one safe that's got a little bit of silver, a little bit of gold. The other safe's got a little bit of silver, a little bit of gold. Just split it up into places where if one of your safes was burgled or discovered, it's not going to affect your entire stack. So like I said, we're going to wrap the video up there. I'll show you one more piece of gold. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Would you like to see more videos on gold? Or are you like me and you actually think that silver has a greater potential long term? I just think we have a lot more room to run with silver. And I think that once gold really starts going, because I think we've just begun with the gold all time highs. I think that's just kind of building a base and then we're going to keep going up and up and up. I echo what people like Camel are saying and I do see five to ten thousand pounds an ounce in the very near future and again this is completely my opinion but once we start seeing that with gold that will have a knock-on effect to silver there'll be people that are pushed out of the market of gold as well people that want to get involved in precious metals and they can't bring themselves to even buying a one gram piece of gold so then they look for the next best thing which is silver and that is going to make silver in my opinion shoot up a lot more higher in percentage than gold has shot up so as always, thanks very much for watching my videos. I hope you found this video interesting. I've got a lot of work now to get all this packaged away, split into separate piles and <laughs> put back into storage. But I thought it was very important to, to let you know that just because I talk about silver mainly on the channel, I have also got a large allocation to gold. And I do think it's a very, very important part of your portfolio. And like I said, this video has been inspired by Camel Finance, CPM and Cobra Stacker after watching their live chat about gold and how important they all say it is for your portfolio. As always, thanks very much for all the support and I hope you have a very nice day.